the Joe Rogan experience. I also have something else for you, my man. <laughs> I can't come bearing gifts. Yeah. Look at yeah. this thing. What the fuck is that, dude? This is called a bushwhacker, I think. Is um, this something they uh, use in the Congo? No. No? We'll get there. What in the fuck? Bro. So that like is a like a machete. Razor. <laughs> Be careful because that thing is really sharp. Okay, the weight behind it. I don't want you to cut yourself. Okay. Yeah, but, it's like a giant wood handle like you could double fist this sucker. Yeah. Uh, Mike Jones knife and tool. You actually have one of his knives. Yeah, I do. Um, and he made this because he is now giving... 5% of all of his knife sales to fight for the forgotten wow. and he was turned on to us through the show This one's another one that he made oh, my friend Mike Hawkridge gave me one of these. Yeah, that's yeah. uh, that's what he said Oh, wow. It's got a built-in little sharpener. Yep. That. Actually, that's that's a knife or a fire starter. It is. Yeah Oh, that's a fire stick and it's a, a moose it antler to stay there um, You use that tie over the top. Oh, it's a yep. bungee oh. Okay, now the knife itself super sharp it's damascus steel Ooh, it's pretty and then um that's his bow hunter style knife mm. the wood is koa wood from hawaii, hawaii yeah so he wow. thought you'd like that and then he always has his little signature smile into yeah the blade. i follow him on the instagram yeah he's a great guy yeah the other knife that mike uh, had made for me is uh, a bow hunter as well this yep. is beautiful man thank you thanks mike too that's pretty man and there's one more there from Mike Jones himself. What, so he, he, he did a thing called Knife for the Forgotten. Oh. And uh, he sold 100% of his knives for Fight for the Forgotten. And so that one's a chef's knife Ooh, that he pretty. thought you'd really like. Oh, that's pretty. The wood and handle is actually black wood from Africa. Wow. So it's probably from Tanzania, um, but it's a chef's knife. And he's got that smiley face in there. But it, it took him like... 15 yeah, i knew how much you appreciate like craftsman work mm. so that took him 15 to 18 hours um to make that that's pretty it's a small handle too it's interesting wow that's beautiful thanks man yeah man i thought you'd like it i'm, I'm i don't i'm not worthy well and then that was just to set up this one what? because <laughs> <laughs> this knife is what it was actually all about. But Mike said, oh, let me let me throw in a knife or two. Because um, he he literally gives 5% of all his knives. Is this one of the ones that was made by the Pygmies? That was made by King Zito himself. Whoa. Um, it was just some scrap metal. It's not the sharpest knife. Um, and he said it wasn't the best for me to give to you. But I thought it was the most unique. That's his, that's his actual kind of signature um, design that he puts in there. It's so light. Yeah. It's crazy. What is this wood? So it's a wood that's out of the Similiki National Forest, and um, they they've been collecting it for generations. I wish and people could feel this. Out of it. How light this it's is! Light, right? It feels like styrofoam. It's yeah. crazy. So they have these different kind of like wow. almost cork, yeah, feeling knives um, or handles. Well, please tell him I said thank you. I will. That's, that's from very, Zito. Very nice of him. N z i t o. Wow, that's so pretty. So yeah, that's cool, man. I was I'll able to that, get you one of those. Keep that and right then, here. Um, and then. Uh, Dustin Poirier one as well. That's dope. Beautiful. Yeah. 